What's going on guys, it's Gamer 101 here, and um, I just wanted to make a quick, like, UG Nation update video, mainly for, like, Dark Souls 2 fans that are still around. Um, I might look or sound kind of tired, I am. Uh, let's see, it is, uh, 5.30 in the morning, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I've been up editing and recording all night, and, um, I was setting up a playlist for Dark Souls 2 guides, just so everyone could have the guides if people needed them. And, um, I was looking back over the videos that I did, and I looked at how, how hard I worked on all those guides. It was, uh, it was 85, I think. Or, it was 80 to 85, I'm not sure how many, but, um, seeing that and seeing how I let it go, if you know, from my grasp, um, if you guys were around during the Dark Souls 2 era, uh, my channel was actually, a pro like, hitting about 100,000 views a day, and it's not all really about the views and YouTube money or anything. It's never really been about that for me. It's just interacting with viewers and reading comments and stuff has been one of my favorite things on YouTube since the beginning of time for me. And um, I looked at like my Dark Souls 2 walkthrough that I didn't finish. Um, surprise. Uh, and um, it was just, it just kind of killed me, man. Like I went from part four or part three to part four in like a, it took a month. Like I don't understand what was going on then. Yes, I was making pretty good money back then um, doing YouTube, and I still couldn't put out a video. And I just wanted to sit here and kind of apologize to you guys that I kind of... Um, i seen what it's kind of like to be the viewer for once. I found a YouTuber I kind of like watching, and he quit, a, he quit a Let's Play series, and it, you know, it bothered me. And, and I kind of see what it's like to be in your guys' shoes. I just wanted to come back and apologize, and I, not that many, not as many people around, obviously, uh, you can see that. We have 50,000 subs, and it's 500 views per video, which is not what it's supposed to be, but it's okay, you know? I mean, I think we're going to be able to rebuild this channel. We got Dark Souls 3 coming out, which I'm going to make an excitement video when I can actually not almost fall asleep. And, um, it, you know, I'm working harder now than I ever have before on any of my videos. Um, I, I work about 40 hours a week right now uh, with another job, and I've never done that in YouTube. And that's why I'm up to like 6 in the morning several nights, because I'm having to edit. It's a lot of editing. Uh, Demon Souls versus uh, we finished it, and uh, that's continuing. It was probably already continued after this is recorded. Um, but I, I had to stay up, edit all that. I, I recorded a couple Pokemon, and I haven't edited it yet. And I'm going to go to sleep because I work tomorrow at an eight-hour shift. So I just wanted to come here and apologize, you guys. And I'm I'm going to be around for Dark Souls 3 and other content, probably a little bit of Fallout 4, um, just Pokemon here and there, and then Monster Hunter Cross. So mainly for all you Dark Souls fans, hopefully you, all you around, kind of Canadians around, he's... Uh, always popping in on the chat and uh, Skype and stuff and he was a viewer from mine he was always in the fight clubs and stuff and there's other of you too and I when school starts it starts this Monday actually I plan to start streaming again and um, I was thinking of an idea to do the um, Scholar of the First Sin is that what it's called the new Dark Souls 2 I never bought it because I didn't have enough money um, but now I, I, I should be able to swing that. And if you guys would like to see a series of that and maybe host some PvP fight clubs, even if it's only 10 of us, I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can rebuild it together, you know. Uh, and maybe if people start going around and seeing that I'm bad, maybe they'll come back. And it's not that they just quit the channel. Um, I'm actually going to play a little update video section that I recorded back then. It's kind of uh, ironic that it happened. But um, I'll tell you that in a second. But uh it's not, it's when a viewer stops watching a YouTuber or something, it literally stops like going to their sub box. It, it'll still be in their sub box, it just won't show up at the top and alert them that, hey, this guy's uploading videos, so they kind of just forget. Like, sometimes I'll check myself and I'll be like, oh wow, I completely forgot about this YouTuber. And that's just basically what's happened. And there, it, my Dark Souls fan base is still the number one fan base on my channel. It still gets the most views out of anything, and not the most interaction, but it's the most views. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys that are still around here, and hopefully we can do the same thing with Dark Souls 3. I, I'm really nervous about it. Like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work just as hard, but I don't know if the same outcome's gonna happen again. I feel like, I don't know if I'll get a second chance. You get what I'm saying about getting the fan base, and I don't know, I don't even know, honestly, who's all around still, and... 
I just wanted to make this update video. I mean, it's approaching 6 a.m. I really need to go to sleep, but I was just, you know, scrolling through and looking at all this. I was like, man, I can't believe I got so lazy. You know, I didn't even have a, I didn't even work 40 hours a week then. I couldn't stop and make a video, like, you know, or I couldn't stream then, but um so yeah and thank you guys again for being around and uh we're gonna rebuild this channel i think we can um i'm not positive the exact same outcome is gonna come out of it it all depends on the um, how many things i can make guides for to be honest and how many people are i'm competing against to do the guides this uh, youtube is almost like a luck and competitions who can get the guides out first who can be the best quality guides see i don't i like trying to be out first but i like trying to make my guides like better like uh for instance pokemon uh what was what was it um mega stones uh i wasn't the first one out i was like the fourth or fifth like kind of decent sized youtuber to release that all mega stone guides uh but now if you look up mega stone guides i'm the first one i think i'm the most viewed one too out of munching orange munching orange has like 800,000 subs and i had more than him but i worked my butt off on that guide i i was up to like i edited for like 14 hours straight or something i'm not sure it was it was crazy nothing i'm better than munching orange um but just giving an example so we'll see what happens with dark souls 3 it's, it depends how much content's in i hope it's not like bloodborne not for like not the gameplay but i hope the guide comes out the day of the game the guide got delayed in bloodborne so it was really hard to make guides for that game because i didn't know where to go to find like specific things so i'm hoping dark souls 3 the guide comes out with a game and yeah, so what is that? Like March, I assume, kind of like every other Souls game. So we have a while to go. That's why I was thinking about, you know, Scar, the first son, after the Demon Souls versus only three or four more parts. It's, it was actually really short. I don't, I'm surprised it finished that fast. I don't remember being that sort of a game. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or if you're still around, I love reading you guys' comments. I really do. And um, if you'd like to see more vlog, Dark Souls 2, or pretty much anything, you know, you can see the guy behind the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, at the end of the day, gamers unite, and I'll see you guys later.